Now, sometimes you'll have a little bit of rub of your rotor, and this, this brake is centered as well as it can be, but at one point, the rotor is rubbing. If you want to eliminate that, that rubbing, there's such a small gap between the pads of a disc brake that if there's much wobble at all, the, the rotor's gonna rub and, and it will make noise and won't be that pleasant to ride. So this is a Morningstar Rock Tecker and it's a dial indicator. You can put it in a truing stand, but you can also do it with the, with the wheel on the bike and you can check the, check the rotor trueness. So this rotors on center tool is a, is a great thing. Now it just screws on to a normal quick release. However, it only can thread in a little ways. So if I just use this same skewer, I'm gonna need to put washers on that side to keep this, the end of the skewer from going in too far and, and not being able to tighten it up. I have one already rigged up that I have like this. And also Morningstar supplies this tool so you can screw it in as far as you need. And I'll just use this one. I'm just gonna thread it in there a little ways and I can just let this dangle. Okay, so now I tighten that up and you can slide the bracket for the dial indicator out as well as slide it up and down on here. And you wanna have some travel of that thing and you wanna have that foot be pretty flat with the, with the rotor. There we have it. And you can move this bezel so that you're on zero and then you can watch what happens as the rotor turns. Now for the majority of its length, it's around zero here, but then it jumps up and gets 10 thousandths off pretty easily. Since the needle where it jumps is moving counterclockwise, that means that that rotor is bent in that direction. Right here is my high spot, and so that point I wanna bend back this way. Now you can actually just bend a rotor with your fingers. It doesn't actually take too much to do it. And you just find that point and bend it back. Now we have reduced it some. Now there's another way that you can do this and this is the Morningstar drumsticks they're called. So you notice two of them are identical and one of them's different. And this one also has a, for opening beer bottles on it when you're done. These two are to stabilize it and this one is to bend it. So here is the point where I'm off the most. So that's where I'm gonna put this tool, is right there. Now again, I wanna bend toward me, and then I'm gonna put this tool here, because I only wanna bend really in that one spot. I'm stabilizing with these two, and I'm pulling back against with this one. Now I'm at plus or minus two thousands, which is pretty good. There's 15 thousandths gap, total gap between the brake pads and the rotor on most, most disc brakes. So that gives you seven and a half thousandths on either side and now we're down to two thousandths on either side. So you should be able to adjust this, this brake caliper so that that rotor won't hit. So another thing that's cool about the ROC Tech tool is the long rod allows you to actually use it as a truing stand for your wheel check your rim and then you have a dial indicator that shows your rim trueness and then you can just take your take your spoke wrench and tighten and loosen and adjust it up and it's not that big of a tool that you that you couldn't take it with you on a on a long trip it's certainly smaller than a truing stand that's all there is to truing rotors <laughs>